Hello everyone, this is Mark Van de of the Brain Wagon blog, and I thought I'd show off something that's actually oscillating today. So, this is actually a small beacon transmitter that um, Hans Summers drew the design up, and I cribbed off his website. I'll produce a link in the YouTube video. Um, it's powered by two uh, 1.5 volt batteries from Ikea, you can tell by the yellow color. Um, this is basically a simple Colpitz oscillator. Uh, underneath this probe here, there's a 50 ohm resistor that's standing in for the antenna coil, uh, which basically transfers energy out of the out of the uh, circuit. Uh, there's a small 2N, 3N, 4 transistor hiding back there. There we go. Um, two resist or two capacitors form the voltage divider. A pad that I don't need. A crystal some series capacitance, and this will eventually be the input for a modulation input, which I hope to test. I'm going to be hooking this to an Arduino. Um, there's a feedback resistor, which is currently wired to this ginormous pot, which dwarfs the rest of the thing. Ideally, this fixed uh, capacitance here would actually be a trimmer, so I could adjust this on frequency. I didn't have any small trimmers lying around, and I felt like doing this anyway. So, uh, yeah, so I've got this wired up to the voltage output of my antenna. And as I, I remember I mentioned this feedback pot, as I go back here and I increase its resistance, the amplitude of the circuit eventually fails. I've currently got this set to half a volt for division. If I turn this up to one volt, it loses the uh, sync on its whatchamacallit. But I can get it to go to about a volt peak to peak, which if my memory serves, since it's going into a 50 ohm load, whoa, something's a little twitchy there. Perhaps I have a weird connection. Anyway, uh, you can tell that I've just barely got this going. Let's go back to uh, half a volt there. That'll make it stabilize a little better. My scope is pretty twitchy. You'll have to excuse its, uh, its silliness. But anyway, this is about a volt peak to peak, which one volt squared divided by the resistance 50 comes out to 20 milliamps. And if I touch the... Uh, little transistor here, it's not even getting warm, so there's nothing going on there. And this uh, resistor can dissipate about 250 milliwatts, so that should not be uh, a big deal. Actually, the power output is also uh, 20 milliwatts or so. Uh, I haven't l measured the efficiency. Uh, I'd have to put an ohmmeter in, or a ammeter in, sync in uh, series with the power supply, and I soldered this power supply down, so I haven't done that. but. Uh, Han's got his to run off 1.86 volts at 65% efficiency. I imagine if I actually crank down the amplitude, it's slightly more efficient. But uh, anyway, I hope to have this. Um, eventually, the idea is to drive a, sort of a, a QRSS beacon, a slow Morse beacon, or potentially I can do some other slightly funny things, which I'll be demoing with uh, Arduino, uh, perhaps tomorrow, perhaps this weekend. But the circuit works. Thanks a lot, Hans, for putting this on, and uh, I hope you found this somewhat enjoyable. This is a really easy soldering project. Uh, you know, I just literally ugly constructed this on some boards, so it's, I'm just trying to gain some practice in doing that kind of construction, and that seems to work really well. So, again, sine waves, cool, on my $20 scope, and I hope you all have a good evening.